For some, the humble bicycle has become a menace. Across Beijing, clusters of discarded rental bikes cover sidewalks. Bike sharing began two years ago. The selling point was that it was cheap and you could leave them wherever you wanted. But that's the problem, say many who live here. You should see both sides. Yes, it's really convenient and ecological, but it's a disaster with this huge amount. It's definitely a waste because they occupy public spaces during peak times. Bikes pile up at bus stops. According to the government, China has more than 23 million shared bicycles. Recent photographs on social media show numerous dumping grounds for abandoned bikes. The operators insist there are clear rules about where to park them, and it's not their fault it's not happening. You can hire a bike like this for just seven cents for half an hour. There are also other obvious benefits. It's good exercise and better for the environment than driving. But there's also one obvious problem, excessive oversupply. Now the inevitables occurred. Several operators have gone bust, with one owing investors almost $60 million. The city of Tianjin has a long history of bicycle production. Despite the overcapacity, these are destined for the rental sector. China's free market policies made this private factory possible. Now the owner hopes the communist government can come to the rescue. We believe the government should do more to help. The amount of shared bikes should be on the basis of a city's scale. Just 40 years ago, you knew you'd made it when you had a bike. Along with a watch, radio and sewing machine, it was a family's most valuable possession, a symbol of pride. Now, for some, it stands as a symbol of national waste. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.